What's going on guys and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video we are continuing from the discussion we had with Benjamin about his uh, catfish pond, uh, catfish farm. So as you can see right behind me, uh, he has a setup where he has an eating pond where he raises his catfish. So yeah, we are here to learn about uh, fish farming or catfish farming specifically in terms of or from the perspective of eating ponds or mud ponds as some people can, may call it. So yeah, before we get into the video, kindly hit on the button to subscribe. Put your notification on to get regular updates when I drop a new video. And please drop a thumbs up into the video. That much I do. Let's get right into the video. Introducing Apex 10, your fertilizer booster. Purely organic from the earth to the earth. Now available in Ghana. Apex 10 fertilizer booster. Best for plant restoration. Reviving aged and withered plants. Producing healthy and abundant fruits. And easy to apply. A boom to farmers and beyond. Making farming sexy again. Apex 10 fertilizer booster is a game changer with many branches. Employment to enable you to feed yourself. If you must get it right, get Apex 10 fertilizer a booster, no toxins, sexy, absolutely organic, easy to apply, and super healthy. For more information, call 0552 505 723 or plus 1609 227 8043. Apex stand from the earth to the earth, making farming sexy again. Apex stand, join the movement now. Okay, so we are currently here at the hatchery of uh, DB Farms. Um, can you show us like what do you actually do? Okay, so this tank is for two purposes. The first of it all is for hatchery. This is where I do my hatchery. So after spawning, it is where um, I nurse the fingerlings, I mean the fries, they get to fingerling, then I transfer them. them. Yeah, so this is point one and point two. Okay. Yeah, so like, so I divide bigger. them. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, put some here and put some here. So yeah. the hatchery, I've never seen the concrete hatchery before. The one I've seen, and the one that looks like the tarpaulin kind of, this this is in the form of a tree. Okay, okay. Yes. So whichever one will help you, you can just go. You can just go. Over. Yeah, we have. Yeah. yeah, as you said, we have basins. People even do this in basins and all that. Yeah. So yeah. it really depends on how you want it to be for you. you understand? Sure. So, so I see there is a. Uh, perforations, yeah. Perforations yes. What does that say? Yo, so when you pour the water in it, this I uh, don't have any fishing. That's why it's, you know, yes. usually we we attach a net to it so that when the fries pop up, they can pass through. And the reason okay. for the perforation is that we want to drain water out. Okay. Uh huh. So you just take the cap off, then the water will pass through the perforations, perforations through down. it and goes. If we don't put the perforation, the water will not be able to pass through, and that will mean you have to take off the pipe like this. Ah, uh, for the water to. And if you do, you have some of the fish also joining the flow, okay. so you may okay. lose some. That's okay. why we do perforations on it, so that when you want to drain water out, just use it that. So if you want to put water, you use water holes. Yeah, we have water holes here. We connect. We have a long pipe. water hole that okay. we join okay. it to then. And then just the fill it up to a level, a level that you yes. want it to. Yeah, then, Okay, alright. So let's get along that's So I finally had a uh uh pond itself. So I can see three different ponds. Yeah, so this is pond one, that is pond two, and that is pond three. Okay, each serves on purpose, right? Like yes, sir. Okay. So this is where the catfish is. Yeah, okay. we have another six here. And that place is for tilapia. So we are now um, preparing the pond for it. Okay. Yeah, so okay. That's fine. This is it. And so this one, we have about 262 in this. So a pond of this size, 200 is okay. So what's the dimension for the pond? So this is 12 by 6. 12 by 6? Yes. And the pond of this size, you should get maximum of 300 in it. 300. Maximum. Yes, maximum. 300. So those who want to start, 
You can get the dimensions and yes. the least. And the depth, the depth, you should get at least four, four feet. Four feet? Yeah, four feet would be fine. Four feet. Yeah, that's about it. So what size can it contain? Like, the sizes in terms of... Because, you know, as they grow old, they become, think, they become big. Yes. Not all of them are able to fit in there. Uh -huh. that, that's why you shouldn't overload it. So this one, the 262 is okay for it. So no matter the size it goes, it so can, they can be able to... Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. So as I was asking initially, mm -hmm. I wanted to see with the depth, so where you would dig it, mm -hmm. the pool uh -huh. and they yeah. put the water in. Mm -hmm. Ordinarily, the soil would, it will leach kind of, everything yes. will go down. Yes. But you're saying that you have to get, like, the soil has to be... The, the soil, you, you, where you dig your pond, you have to ensure that the water holding capacity of the soil is okay. So if you get, if you get a loose, um, like, say, a uh, place where the water holding capacity is low when water comes in it just drains off mm. so with this you can see that below it we have clay soil okay yes so a clay soil has a water yeah, high a water good. holding capacity Conduit. so this is very very conducive for for a thin ponds so it's a perfectly selected area that's fine that's fine why not so the water is it like you change it oh yeah we have a pumping machine we have a well that daily we pump fresh water into it. Oh, so okay. like the tapolins and the other people, the concrete tanks, yeah. we also, we, we don't change, we don't drain the water out. We just top up. Okay. Yes, we just top up daily. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So that if you top up, that means the old water that is in, you just add on. Yes. It wouldn't be at a point where it would overflow. No, no, we have a measurement. That's why these are some of the technicalities I spoke about before. So initially, yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. So let's oh yeah okay so I haven't fed them this morning so I have to feed them and so as I said before there are some training I've given them so immediately they are just I just hit it on it you see that they'll come and be in the middle here they can move they are really really hungry today so they are so hungry I thought you were going to ask me about the, the quantity of feed I give them by the day. Yeah. So I guess that it depends on the number that you have in the particular uh, measurement. Yes, yeah, it depends on the number. And for me, per se, I practice what we call the responsive feeding. Okay. So once I put it in it, they keep feeding. When they are full, you put it in, they will not show up again. That will okay. tell you they are full. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there's been so a specific weight or, you know, no. so we okay. practice responsive feeding here. That's right. Yeah. And how many times, like, in a day? So, in a day, three times. So, morning after? Eh. Yeah, morning they, after. They, they enjoy three square meals. Very. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yes, That's sir. Nice. I like the idea of the ethyl pond. Yeah, it, it, it's very good. Yeah. And I like yeah. consider they are really happy. So, like, yeah, do you provide? You see, unlike the, like the tarpaulin and the concrete, the tank. concrete yeah. tanks, and then they provide some form of like oxygen into the water. Yes, yes. So this one has no oxygen. No oxygen. Yes, because with the concrete tank and the tarpaulin, see, um, air, air cannot pass through. But with the earthen pond, we have soil air, and aside that, too, because of the water we change by the day, you know, it refreshes the oxygen level of it. You understand? So that's an advantage. So you can see that they are done with this one. So I keep throwing it in it until it gets to a point they are not coming sure. anymore. Then if you tell me they are full, then I'll stop. So since you started, how has the mortality rate been? Oh, very, very fortunately, I haven't had any mortality. It was just two of them I picked up the other time. Since then, I haven't really had any mortality. Yeah. So they died like in while they were in the pond? Yeah, uh, they died. So when they died, they suspended. Yeah, they just flute. take, yeah. yeah, sorry, they flew. Then just pick them out. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I think some other time we'll come and look at how you do the spawning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll invite you. Yes, I will. I will. Should, I'm should. also interested. I think my viewers also be interested in knowing definitely how okay. to go about how to go about that. Yes, I have all the tools here, so we could just get a booster and you know, I'll take you through the entire process. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let's go and check the other side. Okay. Okay.
So over there too, I have catfish, but these ones are quite younger. Oh, okay. So yes. you like you separated them? Yes, please. These are quite bigger than. They will eat them. Yeah. Yeah. In, a, in a blink of an eye. <laughs> they will them. So I have to separate them. And, you know. So you see, once they hear that human beings are around, they will start, they will start coming they start up coming, and yeah. making some moves, you understand? Trying to welcome you. Yeah. Welcome yeah. home, daddy. Yeah. So, so I think, when if you guys have realized, the type of food you use are different. Different, yes. So yeah. those who are a bit mature use the bigger ones. Yes, right? so this is 4.5 mm and this is 2 mm. 2 mm, okay. Yes, sir. So the smaller they are, the smaller they feature them, yes, those consume it. Yes, right? yes, you see them. They feel that people are here, so yeah. they are welcoming us. So catfish is very interesting, bro. They are really fun to be with. So, so let me Ooh. ask, in terms of... Babies are hungry. Yeah. In terms of what? In terms of catfish, and, let me... Okay, you want to try? Catfish and tilapia. Mm -hmm. Which one will you say wearing them is Easy. quite easier? Well, I think going for the catfish because the tilapia is very, very complicated. You know, they are very soft. Mm. Just a little, even just a sun can just kill them. Okay. Yes. But yeah. catfish? Catfish are hardy animals, I mean. Yes, yes. So, if you're a starter, I think you should go in with the catfish first. Then after you get some experience, you can go in yeah, with the tilapia. tilapia. So, that is the third pond. Yeah, the tilapia. Yeah, so we're preparing it, fertilizing it sometime. Yeah, we introduce the tilapia. But yeah, don't you have like other predators and stuff? No, 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 we haven't, them. I haven't had anything like that. You know, there are some tiny, tiny snakes around, but they're not really harmful. But they don't get in the water? No, they don't, they don't, they don't. Because I know some extent snakes too. Like yes, the but they can't, they can't kill the fish. Okay. They'll just mingle with them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's not really anything. So, so this one, to, what the dimension and the number of... Uh, okay, so for this size, the, the number of fish in here, they are 295. But yeah, this right. is a temporal structure. Okay. When you're mature, I'll transfer it either to this or there. Okay, so this is just a temporal structure, just to get them used to the earthen, earthen pond you know, environment, uh -huh. so this is very temporary. That's cool. Yeah, that's, yeah. Cool. that's very interesting animals. So you know the, the dimension for this? Yeah, so the dimension for this is um, 6 by 6, and the depth is 3 feet. 3 feet. Yeah, so it's not really, really deep, because it's a temporal structure. Yeah. At least, and you used to hold uh, fingerlings too. Yes, yeah, so yeah. yeah. So how many weeks are these? Because so they look a little So bit these big. ones are 2 months and some weeks. I think about two months, three weeks now. Two months, three weeks now. Yes, so they are really doing well. Almost three weeks. Yes, I haven't had any mortalities here too so far. So, so. Then that, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Personally, um, I don't know, if, if I would advise someone to start... Well, let me, let me just seek your perception uh -huh. first. Mm -hmm. If you advise someone to start uh, fish farming, mm -hmm. and the person has like a land available and all of those things, and he's exploring options, mm -hmm. between tapulin, between concrete, between ethane pond, um, I will turn up on the again and the white who use the white tanks, pond, the tanks yeah, yeah. to use your pond. Which one would you advise the person to go for? I'll go, I'll always tell you to go in for the earthen pond. You know, we dug this ourselves, we dug it ourselves. Yeah, you understand. So, I, I think you should go in for the earthen pond because there's so many advantages in the earthen pond compared to, I mean, compared to the Concrete yeah. and the tarpaulin. The tarpaulin wears off. You know, it's it's, it's plastic. No, me rubber or something. Yeah. So with time, it will wear off. You can start having some perforations and all that, and you know, and even the concrete tanks, you can have some leakages and all that. But with this, no leakages, no perforation. You understand? So I will tell you to go in for the earthen pond if you have land available and you have all the resources. Go in for the earthen pond, bro. Okay. Yes, and in terms of cost, be uh, cost effectiveness. Mm -hmm. Which one would you say? We should uh, do because how much would it cost to construct? Well, this we did it point? ourselves. We did it ourselves. It's it only this that I hired a couple Someone. of guys to come and help me. They, okay. It was a just one day job because the place is water low and the, the, the sun here is very soft. So, just some, so just one day we dug everything and I paid them off. So, cost the earthen pond is um, quite cheaper than concrete tank. Exactly. You need blocks, you need cement, you need sand. Yes, Labor I agree. And all that. I agree so, because even with the with this one, let's say you get someone to try and help you dig, you would spend that much. Exactly, and it should be once and for all. Yeah, but if you are buying tapolins, tapolins are quite expensive. Very. 
They are doing because concrete spawns to yeah, yeah. At least as you said, the yeah. cement and the cost that yes. goes into it. Yeah. So at least with this, you can start with a uh, little capital. Yes. And you are good to go yes. with that. Yes. Yeah, so, what is it, bro? They are really starving. And this feed too has a higher um, protein content. I mean, this one for the starter. So, it makes yeah. them grow very, very fast. Yeah. So, so this is like TC4. TC4. And this is Ranan. Thank you. Do you know the composition? Yeah, this is 47% uh, protein. But with this, um, I forgot to I have to check on the side. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's fine. Yeah. And how much, so in terms of feeding, if you are incurring expense, like let's say in a, on a monthly basis, how much do you incur in terms of feeding? Okay, so it depends on the size. When they have this size, they don't really feed so much. But when they have that size, in a month, they can, co they can consume about 15 kilos. 15 yeah. kilos? Yeah. The kg? Yes, 15, one bag. Yeah. Wow. Yes. That's why you have to be, um, uh, you have to think about the number as well because you can't go and load 1,000 fingerlings and when it's time for feeding you'll be crying because 1,000 fingerlings it means you have to feed them like two containers combined at the go. At the go. Yes. But with this it's quite moderate so once it's here in the afternoon I'll top up and I'll feed them with it. Okay. You understand? So in the evening so I come and run it off and I'll go and sleep. You also sleep. Definitely, definitely. The tilapia, because as you can see, it's a nice pond. Yes, here. yes. I will, I will bring about 300 of them. For this size, 300 is okay. 300 is fine. Yes. Okay. And then what's the dimension for this one? Too? This so this one too is um, 14 by 14. And the depth is, I saw, 4 feet deep. 4 feet deep. Yes, sir. I like, I like the way at least where you are, you've just done like, like a backyard kind of thing. Yes, yes. So there's always like monitoring of it. Exactly. You can come so, around to have a look. Yes, yes. Even if you're not around, you can have people to come and help. Exactly. Yeah, so I'm here with my siblings, so if I'm not around, they, they, can they take care of it for me. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think um, that would be the end. If there's anything you want us to know about you, you can also check that in. Oh, for me, um, I'll say that. This, this is a form of advice to my brothers and my sisters out there watching us. Um, I mean, we are all we are all born, we all born into a society where you've been told that oh go to school you know complete have your degree I have a degree it's it's, it's in the room bro <laughs> uh, yeah yeah I'm, I'm into farming now yeah so it's just a stepping stone or it could be a side business so whatever thing you're doing you can practice farming or any other thing uh, in addition so that. You can have another extra cost of um, income. So, yeah. So, it's it's basically about determination and you know not listening to people. Because when I started, bro, I had so many broken hearts. I saw I told you yeah, before. Yeah, the struggles of exactly. But I never gave up. I I said I wasn't going. To, this is what I want to do, and prove to myself that the university I went at least this is what I acquired from it. Yeah. I'm using yeah. it, and now if I have another thing to do, that'd be a nice and the cake. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it, bro. Okay. All right, so um, we'll end the video here. As he said, if you want to do something, you have to do it now. Yes. What you are passionate about, you have to go in for it. I mean, like, time, time, time really flies. Computer school 2019, 2020. 2020. Fast forward, I'm here now. Exactly. Yeah. Time really flies, so you have something to do. Don't yeah, uh, slow down on it. This is the right time to do it yeah. and do it now. So, yeah, that draws the curtains to the video. Uh, see you in the next one. Make sure you click on the red button to subscribe. You put your notification on to get a glad that's when I drop a new video. And please drop a thumbs up onto the video. Alright, see you in the next one. Peace out. Introducing Apex 10, your fertilizer booster. Purely organic from the earth to the earth. Now available in Ghana. Apex 10 fertilizer booster. Best for plant restoration. Reviving aged and withered plants. Producing healthy and abundant fruits. And easy to apply. A boom to farmers and beyond. Making farming sexy again. Apex 10 fertilizer booster is a game changer with many branches. Employment to enable you to feed yourself. If you must get it right, get Apex 10 fertilizer a booster, no toxins, sexy, absolutely organic, easy to 
apply and super healthy. For more information, call 0552 505 723 or plus 1609 227 8043. Apex Stand from the earth to the earth, making farming sexy again. Apex Stand, join the movement.